unit tests are part of continuous integration pipeline. This is the simplified view of the continuous integration pipeline. So here is how it works. Whenever there is a change request or an enhancement or a bug, the developer implements the code changes required on his local machine. Depending on the change being implemented, the developer may also change the existing unit tests or add new ones. The developer will then run the unit tests on his local machine to make sure all of them pass, get the code reviewed by a senior or a fellow developer and quickly manually test the changes. So at this point, the developer is ready to check in his changes into the source control repository. When the developer initiates a check-in, there's a component called build agent in the continuous integration pipeline that automatically builds the solution and runs all the tests. If all the tests pass, the developer changes are committed to the source control repository. If any of the automated tests fail, then that means we may have broken some piece of functionality. So the changes are rejected and the developer has the opportunity to fix those failing scenarios before attempting another check-in. So in short, these automated unit tests, when they are part of the continuous integration pipeline, they can prevent breaking changes from being checked into the source control repository.